Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's, and we have a VW Crafter. So I've been called out to this for a DPF, but we're just going to plug it in anyway and see what's going on first. So that's the OBD socket just under there, and we are just waiting for this to come on. So we'll get this loaded up. So for this one, I think we will pick the Volkswagen CV, which I believe is commercial vehicle. And we are scanning. Let's see what faults we have. Okay, we have a P2463 and a 00, zero sort of restriction. Uh, we also have another code there for the AC control module and invalid data from the instrument cluster. Okay, so these two codes down the bottom here, we're not going to be looking at those. Uh, this one may be some sort of issue with the uh, instrument panel. Uh, but So we're going to get rid of this DPF particle filter soot restriction. Uh, it's done 210,000 miles, this van. It's a courier driver. Exhaust filter full, see owner's manual. Let's see what happens when we start it up. Usual Volkswagen signs there, engine management, and the flashing glow plug symbol. So as you probably noticed there, it's exactly the same van as ours. And uh, I can definitely say this is the first time we've ever done one of these vans. Uh, VW, first time we've done one of these. So we're just going to have a look at what live data we got on here. Some of these commercial vehicles don't really show you. A lot of information. Uh, you can see there it's it's only driven three kilometers since the last uh, time he's uh, reset the engine management light. So I think this guy's got his own uh, engine management, uh, sorry, diagnostic computer. So here we found some of the live data there for the particle filter. So we've got 52 on idle. And let's give it an acceleration. Two hundred. Two ten there. And we can see that the sensor is getting voltage, it's reading it. And it's obviously reading the pressure so the sensor is working. So having a look inside the engine compartment here, we have the DPF pressure sensor just here. With both the uh, hoses going down, all the way down there. And into the DPF. But I think in this case we might just open the oxygen sensor. Let's get this open. It's not too bad looking. A little bit of soot on there, but not much. And you can see this tool here that we're using is a 22mm cross foot spanner. So we'll just rest the uh, tool over there along with the sensor. Now we've got access to the hole. So I've just got my little probe camera here hooked up. Let's see if we can get have a look down in. I don't know if we're going to see that on the screen here actually, but we'll see if we see what we can do. Feed that down there. Let's just try and get the screen out of the sun. There's a lot of glare here on the screen, but let's try and get it as best as I can for you to show you. So you can see, like you can see the honeycomb there on it, but it doesn't look like it's completely blocked. But obviously, further down inside, it's going to be blocked up. So we'll get the uh, fluid put in here now. We'll try and leave the camera in there at the same time if we can. So you can see there as we move the camera around there, one side of the DPF is a lot worse than the other. Um, just trying to get that focused as best I can there. 
it's between the glare on the screen and then the focus of the camera, it's a little bit hard. Okay, so we're gonna now put the fluid in there. And we're gonna use 2.5 litres of this. And we're gonna put it in here, dispenser bottle. So we've just got a tube from the dispenser bottle here. It's a pressurised uh, brake fluid bottle, but that's what we use it for. Just got that pressed in here. Now we can build up the pressure just by pumping it up. So now we've got the pressure up. I'm just going to release the uh, clamp here and let it flow in. See there, starting to fill up there. Can't really see it very clear now. So now we've got all of that back together. We'll go back in diagnostics. We'll have a look at what adaptions we can do, and uh, so we can. Okay, so the regeneration is only by driving it's not a static one so we'll click on that anyway and we'll get that ready to go, ready to work or we'll just go back for a minute actually we'll go into live data and we'll just hold some revs on the van and see if we uh, can see the, the pressure dropping we're going to use this it's an accelerator depressor let me get that, that focus 3237 laser code and start it up Two hundred and seventy six there. So I'm just going to try and clear the codes and see what happens for a minute. Okay, invalid data is on there. Now we can go into the adaptions and we'll reset the DPF particle filter initialization there. Okay, so we've got the engine lights out there. Now we're going to take it for a drive for about 10 or 15 minutes. So we just put another bottle of that there and it just uh, for good measure. Because it's, uh, it's quite bad this one. Okay, we're on 30 there. So now we can uh, we'll, we'll release the pedal and see what it's like on idle. Taking it off. And we are now down to 6, 7 on idle. So there's a lot of difference there. So that's the same as millibars really, 6 millibars down from 50 to 60 somewhere it was on idle so we've got the levels down as low as possible there and the only fault codes remaining are these two but uh, that's for something for another day and another mechanic I'd say uh, so that's it warnings are done we've had it on a 15 minute drive it's all good and we will see you on the next video